morning guys, hi Arians. I feel like a big yellow marshmallow today. Look at the size of the city. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna deal with it. I'm so happy though that it's coming into hoodie season and hoodie weather. Love hoodies. Um, but anyway, enough about hoodies, makeup. So guys, for today's video, I'm just gonna play with some makeup. What's new, right? <laughs> so I think Friday night I was actually going through my eyeshadow palettes, my wee drawer and my big drawer that's behind me. So basically every month I like to do a wee declutter within my eyeshadow palette drawers. Um, just to kind of see what I have, kind of remind myself that I have certain palettes, do a bit of a rotation to put maybe certain palettes at the front to remind me to use them. Or just maybe think to myself, right, I haven't used that palette in a couple months now, I'll declutter it or I'll give it away or whatever, you know? So I then came across these wee palettes every now and again I will lift these wee palettes and I will do a wee tutorial on them and that's what we're doing today <laughs> because I think these palettes are great they're so so good and I do go for them like every now and again and of course they are the wee mini palettes from Colourpop I just have the four shades here but they obviously have like nearly every colour of the rainbow by the stage now these four the yellow and the green are definitely my favourites the blue and the pink ones still are very very nice but I don't know shall we use the green and yellow and see what we can come up with because I was kind of figuring that I would end up using the yellow. I have a couple of yellow products out here as well. So I have a yellow glitter that I might use. And then I also have this LA Girl Shockwave Neo Eyeliner. And it's also the yellow shade. Well, it's actually called Screaming. But, oh well. So I'm actually going to line my waterline with this first of all. Just to kind of start us off. <laughs> See where we can go from there. And then I'm just going to clip these wee front bits up by the way. I uh, bleached my roots just at the front, of course, as you can see, yesterday. <laughs> I hate whenever like my hair is just freshly bleached or pre-lightened. I might actually re-intensify that later on, whenever we actually have our eyeshadow done. Okay, so I'm going to have these two palettes open in front of me, and I'm just kind of... I'm just going to dig in. First of all, I'm going to take this shade here, a Buzzkill, from the yellow palette. And I'm just going to buff this just into the crease. So once I'm happy enough with how that shade's building up, I'm just going to go in and just blend at it with nothing else on the brush. Next up, I'm going to go into the shade beside it, which is Beehive. So I'm going to be blending this. Also within the crease, but more so like the upper crease slash brow bone. And then I think we might come back and deepen up the crease a wee bit more. Because I think this uh, yellow shade might take over a wee bit. I think I might just go into the green palette here and just go for this shade here. Charmed. It's like a nice dark brown. <sighs> Do you know, it's so nice being able to yawn and not get a finger stuck in your mouth. <laughs> Anybody else's boyfriend like that, like you literally cannot yawn in front of them without them literally sticking their finger like down your throat. <laughs> or like walking up the stairs in front of them, you either get a big old slap up the cheeks or a finger between the crack. <laughs> it's really crazy. I can't really say very much. I do the exact same to him. Um, but oh my god, it's 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 such. It feels so good <laughs> to get a yawn without getting a finger in your mouth and it being completely ruined. <laughs> so I'm just going to pack this on. Like literally just right at the outer corner because I really don't know what I'm going to be doing at this point. I think I might cut the crease. So did you all have a nice weekend? Because I had a really good weekend actually. The past couple of weekends have actually been really, really good. I think me and Kyle needed it. Ah, <laughs> uh, so funny. I don't even think I'd actually like told you, but this was like a couple of weekends ago. <clears throat> Sorry. So, oh by the way, while I'm chit-chatting here, I'm just gonna be like blending this shade out and reapplying it and whatnot. If I change or do anything else, I'll let you know. But 
Obviously, me and Kyle don't live with each other, so like eight years down the line, we rarely have arguments. We have like wee tiffs and wee disagreements. We <laughs> we had a wee bit of a fallout a couple of weeks ago, and it was really bad. Well, it wasn't really bad because I was fine. It was more so him, which is hilarious because. He rarely loses his temper. I think twice in the past eight years I've seen him lose his temper and completely lose his shit. He rarely raises his voice and just, I don't know, I'm just, I've just got really lucky with Kyle. <laughs> you know, like he is while good, like I have to say I would be argumentative and I would raise my voice. Whereas he's the more cool, calm one. But anyway, so we were in Cookstown and I'm not obviously going to go into like the whole situation, but he ended up losing his absolute shit completely. <laughs> and I thought that this was absolutely hilarious. And the one thing that I realized that you do not do whenever your partner is completely losing their shit is say, well, this is entertaining while you're sitting smiling in their face. He had actually like pulled over to the side of the road, got out of the car, slammed the door that hard that I actually thought it was gonna come in at me. And he was actually like <laughs> shouting at me and everything, like out on the footpath, which is not like him. And I, I didn't do anything wrong, by the way, like if I'm being serious, like it was just some, for something really, really silly. It was all over directions. I was giving him directions but they weren't good enough. Like I was giving him the directions, Google Maps was on, but they weren't good, good enough. And I think this is what was frustrating me. And I was keeping my cool because I knew I was in the right as per usual. Um, but he was just losing his absolute shit. I don't know, he must have had his tampon in the wrong way around or something, I don't know. It was just like, kind mate, I'm not Christopher Columbus, seriously. Like. <laughs> I had pulled over onto the side of the road anyway and got out of the car, slammed through the car door, um, went to go and get pizza. The pizza place was closed. He came back and as he was on his way back to the car, <laughs> I could literally still see him like cursing at himself and like... <laughs> and, I, and I'm just sitting in the car like, you're fucking mad. You're a, you're a madman. You're crazy. But yeah, all over the heads of me not being Christopher Columbus. God's sake. So I just packed on some more of that brown shade and I'm now blending it out with this wee brush here from Buff and Blend. It's a BB weight brush. Okay, so once that crease is cut, I like to take the exact same brush and just kind of clean it off. And I'm just going to blend those edges. And then I'm also going to back into the yellow palette again. I'm going to take this shimmer shade here. Oh, that's lovely, actually. It's a nice wee shade. And also with this brush, I've just cleaned that off and now with the corners, I'm going to clean it off just a wee bit more. I'm just going to blend that shimmer shade just a wee bit. Just taking a wee bit of that shade and I'm also just going to pat that on the outer corner just to intensify it a wee bit more because as we were blending, we kind of lose our intensity. So you want to go back in and build it up. And then you're going to get your blending brush and you're going to blend it up to the crease and you're going to blend it over into the shimmer. As I was saying at the start, I'm going to be using this wee glitter from LA Splash, but it's in the shade Hawaiian Fizz. So as you can see, it's just like a nice wee yellow glitter. It's so, so nice. But of course, if you don't have a yellow glitter, but you have this palette, you can obviously just use like the pressed glitter that comes in the palette. It's honestly just as nice. It looks really, really good. Jesus. <laughs> so for my primer, I'm going to be taking the NYX Honey Dream Me Up primer. I 
swear it's such a nice primer it feels really nice and like cool on the face as well but it's like honestly like applying boogers on your face <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I got such a cool PR package yesterday. Um, it was actually from Arctic Fox. Like, Arctic Fox? Really? And as far as I'm aware, it's owned by Kristen Leanne. Would I be correct in saying that? Um, but basically, they had reached out to me over Instagram. But basically, they had sent me out a couple of colours. I'm taking the NARS foundation, by the way. It's nearly done, so I'm, like, trying to finish it but here's the thing I don't like pink hair well it's not that I don't like pink hair pink hair is grand I don't mind it because I'm sure I will offend people okay I take that back I don't mind pink hair I think it's because no I can't say I don't like pink hair because I've had so many different colors and tones and types of pink hair myself so I think it's like I've out pinked myself <laughs> I love blues and greens and oranges and yellow. So as I say, they had sent me out the package. The package came yesterday and they were so kind enough to send me four balls. So the balls they sent me, <laughs> every color is pink, bar one. One shade is sterling and it's like a nice gray color. So I think I might actually use that first. But do you know what? I definitely will probably use them. And do you know what? They're gorgeous. They are gorgeous, gorgeous colors of pink and shades, but they're just not me. <laughs> For my cream bronzer, I'm gonna be taking this wee foundation stick from MUA and it is their Pro Base foundation stick in the shade 180. I love this product so much. It's so good. Must get another one actually because it's nearly running out. I literally think this is only about three or four pounds on Beauty Bay. So good. So affordable. But see, just like cream bronzing in general, it just, I cannot do my makeup without it. So whenever I actually do have freshly lightened or bleached hair, um, I know it can be a wee bit hard to like avoid getting like your foundation or bronzer or whatever like in your hair. So I like to apply my product down a wee bit and blend back. So I'm not applying the product like right at my hairline where the hair is and then blending and then it's blending into your hair. I like to place it down my forehead a wee bit and then blend it back up into my hairline if that makes sense. Because I know whenever I had like a full head of like bleached hair, it was, it was the worst. Like I loved getting my hair done, but see whenever it came down to doing your makeup, <laughs> oh, you just nearly had like this orange ring, like right around your head. So then just to do a wee bit of beckon, I'm going to be taking the kimchi powder. I've really been loving this wee Jaclyn Hill and Morphe, the JH, J -J -J -J. <laughs> what the, the J. J H O six brush, Jesus. Do you think is it my accent, or just how I pronounce things? Christ. And then just to set my skin, I'm going to be taking the Beauty Bake Great um, Set Mist. As far as I can remember, I'm not the biggest fan on this, but oh well. <sighs> So then for highlight guys, I'm actually going to be taking these e palettes here from Be Perfect Cosmetics. They're the Shape Shifter palettes. I love these. These are so, so good. I love the packaging as well. Super, super cute. So basically you're kind of getting like two palettes for like the price of one. This e palette here is Coles World and it has your bronze contour shades and two setting powders slash brightening powders Zachary's world where we have some blush and highlights so I'm going to be taking this shade here just to highlight today and then I'm going to be using this to bronze the skin of course I am an affiliate with people <laughs> this is reality <laughs> I am an affiliate with be perfect cosmetics boom so of course you can use my discode, but my, my discode, fuck this. Jesus Christ. You can use my discount code. Um, 
and that'll get you 20% off site wide. However, I don't think it actually works with the new Stacey Marie Antidote palette. And then for my blush, I'm going to be taking this one from Sephora. I was going to take this one. This one here. But I'm scared. The last time I used it, it didn't turn out great. <laughs> I, you know what, I must really try it again, but I don't know, I'm figured. But yeah, gonna be taking this wee blush here from Sephora, and it is in the shade Fascinating. Oh, and talking about Sephora, I was actually on Sephora, like my face, my face was on Sephora website. Somebody had messaged me on um, Instagram and basically sent me a screenshot of it and said like, you're on Sephora. I was like, oh my god, that's so cool. Which it kind of makes sense because they asked me my permission and I was like, yeah, whatever, go for it. But it sucks <laughs> because over here in like the UK, um, well, slash Northern Ireland, um, we have no access to Sephora, like at all. We cannot get into the US website. Basically, if you go onto Sephora, it'll automatically take you to the French one. And obviously I don't speak French. So I was obviously very thankful to that girl that had actually sent me like the screenshot so I was at least able to see it through that, you know, but kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, exciting. And I just kind of go for it. <laughs> I just kind of go for this one here. Okay, so it's kind of crazy what a pair of lashes can do, isn't it? <laughs> But I've also, whenever I was off camera doing my lashes there, I've also done my lower lash line. As you know, I hate doing it on camera. Bores the tits off me and I never do anything that special. But all I took was this shade here. And I kind of just like ran up just along the lower lash line kind of like to, um, and blended it into the inner corner. And then, that was literally just it. And then I took like a tiny wee brush, this wee one here. This wee tiny brush here. And I just went in with this yellow shade and I just focused it just at the inner corner, just like along the lower lash line, just at the inner corner. And I also blended it around my tear duct as well. I think it looks quite nice actually. For my lips, gonna be boring as usual. I'm gonna be taking this ColourPop lip liner, the shade Beeper. For my lipstick, I'm taking this one from P. Louise and it's in the shade Heights. This is wee bullet one here. I'm also going to use a wee bit of this Revolution Baby Gloss in the shade Cream. This is such a gorgeous nude lip gloss. If you cannot find like a really, really pale beige nude lip gloss, this is perfect. And it's so cute. It's so small. I think it's only like three pounds as well, but it's gorgeous. It's such a beautiful colour. And it's super, super pigmented as well. That is juicy. Nice. Mm. I actually think I'm gonna go now and film my giveaway video. I'm not actually too sure what video I'm gonna have up first. This one or the giveaway video, but if I put the giveaway video up first, just know that you can go and enter my giveaway. <laughs> so basically because I hit 165,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a whole load of goodies. I will link the giveaway down below. And yeah, good luck everybody. Feel free to enter, of course. But yeah, this also completes this video as well, guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love how this turned out. I love it. Although I feel like I've maybe done something like this before. Have I? I don't know. But either way, I'm not mad. I don't care. I love it. And see these three palettes from Colourpop? If you haven't got them all, or one, or two, or tried them at all, please do go and try them. They are so, so good. They're just like the wee nine colour palettes. I think they're like maybe... 
In fact, I don't know how much they are. <laughs> But they are affordable, they are really, really affordable. And you can obviously use like um, some YouTubers discount code, like uh, Robert Walsh has a discount code for Colourpop, Shanixo, etc. So go use her discount code, get money off their makeup and thank me later. I actually put this post up on my Instagram last night and I found that so funny. I was literally sitting wet myself laughing because it was so me. Hold on, hopefully I still have it. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I find this so funny. It just says, what do you mean you don't like Colourpop? <laughs> oh, me and my lipstick and my teeth. I'm just gonna go now, like. <laughs> of course, all the products that I did use in today's tutorial will be listed and linked down below in the description box, as well as my Instagram. So don't forget to go and follow me on there. And I hope you're all staying safe and well. Please be kind to yourselves and each other, and I shall see you in my next video.